Hi everyone, Chris again with your Mac Mall Tech Talk, bringing you the latest news on the technology front. All right, let's start out with something that every iPhone user wants to find out before September 9th, and that is, where's the best place to sell your iPhone to get the most bang for your buck? Well, you actually have several options, depending on the condition of your phone. Apple has a device recycling program that will take your good condition iPhone in exchange for an Apple gift card. Amazon.com also has a trade-in program where you can send in your phone. Amazon determines the value and then sends you payment on an Amazon.com gift card. Another option for someone who wants to hang on their, to their phone until they get the new one is Gazelle. The website lets you lock in today's iPhone price, but you don't have to ship your device back to Gazelle until October 10th. Gazelle's valuation, however, tends to be lower than other places. You also may want to check out the website of your favorite technology giant, uh, ilikemacball.com. Now, if you own a car and an iPhone or an Android, this new app might be right up your alley. Just like popular fitness apps can tell you about your health status, the Fixed app tells you about your car's well-being. Fixed comes with a sensor that you hook up under your steering wheel and it tracks things like coolant level or the condition of your airbags. It even gives you estimates on things that need to be repaired and how much the repair will cost. Now, the company is still in its beginning stages, so if you're interested in purchasing the sensor and app, uh, you can on their Kickstarter page. This is something very similar to uh, some insurance companies. that It's a dongle you plug into your car under the steering wheel and it tracks how you're driving. So they're exploiting the computerized car technology. I think it's pretty cool. Moving on, in light of celebrity hacking scandals, the world is in a frenzy about how to protect themselves from your private photos leaking out. Well, don't fear because I got some simple tips you can follow to secure your iPhone. Number one is pretty obvious. Enable the password lock on your iPhone. It's also called the passcode lock. It's a little four digit code. It's super important. Without it, your phone is just open to the world. All right. Uh, number two, disable features that could be accessed without entering the passcode. For example, notification center. Sometimes when your phone is locked, you'll see things like text messages pop up. Uh, sometimes sensitive data can be sent, even pictures can be seen while the phone is still locked. So you go to your general settings in Notification Center and you see all the apps that say notify when locked and you turn those off. Number three is erase all the data before you return, repair, or resell your iPhone. Seems like an obvious one, but you shouldn't forget. And where you do that is reset all settings, also under general. You can see it here. Next. Tip number four, regularly update your iPhone's OS. I can't explain how important this is because any vulnerabilities that are discovered get patched with an OS update. So if you have iOS 6, you should be updating to 7 ASAP. If you have 7, you should update to 8 as soon as possible. And don't forget all the intermediary updates available. And you do that via software update, also in general settings. Tip number five is don't jailbreak. If you don't know how to jailbreak, don't worry about it. But if you do, uh, you should understand that you are potentially killing your phone because future upgrades from Apple may not be available. And also, you're effectively removing all the security settings and, and uh, all, the, all the safeguards that Apple put into your phone on purpose to prevent bad stuff from happening. You're bypassing all of that. Tip number six, you should be disabling the location settings that are on things like Safari and Facebook. That's done under general and location settings on your iPhone. And these tell people where you are or when you're sending a text to someone saying, oh, I'm sitting in traffic, but you're actually you know, at the, uh, at the bar <laughs> or someplace, uh, you, want to, you want to turn that off. It's a security feature. It's under location settings. And tip number seven, and probably the most important tip in my opinion, is enable Find My iPhone. It does a couple things for you. Number one, if you lose your iPhone, you can track it. Okay, you track it by going to iCloud.com and just entering your iCloud account, something that you needed to set up when you first set up your iPhone. Not only can you track it, but you can lock it, you can send it messages, you can remotely wipe it as well. The other thing is, is once you've enabled Find My iPhone, it cannot be disabled or, or otherwise turned off without your uh, Apple ID and password, which means the phone is effectively a brick to somebody else who finds it or steals it. Moving on, here's some technology that I found fascinating that you might be seeing in the not too far off future. Quantum dots. Bear with me for 20 seconds while I explain what these are 
and I will tell you why you need to know about them. A quantum dot is a nanocrystal made of semiconductor material that is small enough, super teeny tiny, I'm talking about 10 to 100 atoms across, to exhibit quantum mechanical properties. So specifically, specifically what they are is they, specifically quantum dots create electrically neutral quasi-particles called excitons when a photon, that's the smallest particle of light, is absorbed by a semiconductor. Now, if all this sounds Greek, I'm gonna give it to you in layman's terms. What we're talking about here is creating or recreating absolutely pure color. Absolutely pure color. So what is it good for? How about the most realistic television you've ever seen? <clears throat> uh, companies are using quantum dots as light emitting diodes or LEDs, you've heard of that. To make, display, to make displays and other light sources, such as QD LED displays and QD WLEDs, which is white LEDs. Now, years ago, QD Vision announced technical success in making a proof of concept quantum display, quantum dot display. And just minutes ago, as of this recording, the third largest maker of flat screen televisions, China's TCL, announced that they will be releasing a 55 inch in November. Quantum dots will be highly sought after for displays because they emit light in a very specific Gaussian distribution. Now, what does that mean? That means this will result in a display that more accurately renders the colors that human eye can perceive. Quantum dots also require very little power since they're not color filters, since they're not color filtered, okay? So you have the most realistic colors that I can see, huge color gamut, and virtually no power consumption. It's gonna change television. What else are quantum dots good for? Uh, well, quantum computers. Quantum dots have been suggested as implementations of qubits for quantum information processing. Quantum dot technology is one of the most promising candidates for use in solid state quantum computing. By applying small voltages to the leads, the flow of electrons through quantum dot can be controlled and thereby precise measurements of the spin and other properties can be made. Now, with several entangled quantum dots or qubits, plus a way of performing the oper uh, operations, quantum calculations, and the companies that would perform them will be possible. But we'll save quantum computing for another tech talk. So, that's all I have for you today. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you want to get more tech news and reviews, be sure to subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions or comments about today's topics or anything tech related, please let us know in the comment section below. And thanks for watching.